Hey guys, this is Cam for 15. I am back at it with another video for you guys, and I'm back with some more One Piece anime episode reviews for you guys. Um, sorry for getting this up. I think it's like the third straight week I've got this up other than a Saturday night. Hopefully that changes going this forward this week. But um, yeah, on Saturday I had so many videos I uploaded, so I felt like I shouldn't need to do it. And then Sunday was Mother's Day. Um, so yeah, anyways. Um, we're here to talk about this anime episode of One Piece, where, um, you know, we see essentially the, I guess you can say, execution of Odin and his retainers, well, mostly Odin. But um, it was a pretty interesting episode. We kind of get some background information of what really happened in that discussion after we left from when Odin first came back to Wano and stuff like that. And clearly we see how, again, how effed up Orochi is as a person. Anyways, we all, we remember from last week um, that Odin said, listen, give me a time limit. And if I can stay in the pot um, as, as much as the time limit is gonna give me, um, you're gonna let me go free and stuff like that. Now, Orochi's like, you think we're stupid? I'm not gonna do that. But Kaido's all for it. He's like, all right, fine. I'm up for the challenge again and stuff like that. And Kaido is like, okay, you and your retainers have to essentially stay in the pot, in this freaking burning hell of a pot for literally an hour. And I'm like, okay, uh, there's no way in hell he's gonna survive that. Because I don't care even if you are a superhuman. You're not surviving a freaking thing in an hour. And it's funny because I think Orochi made a man. She's like, an hour? You can't even stay in the bed for an hour without freaking having, you know, without without it having its effects on you and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh God, this is about to be crazy and things like that. Um, and obviously Odin's retainer is like, Odin, don't do it. It's not worth it and stuff like that. And essentially, uh, yes, Odin actually jumps into the pot full of oil, fire, whatever the hell is in this thing, this burning thing. He jumps into it. And the moment they do it, and I like how the animation looks, he literally is like, ah, and stuff like that. And I like the one shot when he first came in. And it's just good God. You can see just like the pain going through him when he first stepped in there and stuff like that. And it's really crazy. I'm like, what the hell, man? Some of these people that are doing all this shit. Um, again, I find it funny that his name's Odin and Odin literally cooked, can be cooked in a freaking pot and stuff like that. Anyways, the other scabbards are obviously seeing Odin go through this and they're like, we need to join our leader. We need to join our master. And they're about to jump in, but then Odin grabs the scaffolding and he just tells him, stay there. And he literally grabs the scaffolding and he's literally at one point holding the scaffolding with his nine retainers on the scaffolding. And he's just standing in the lava or, or in the pot with holding his uh, retainers. Albeit, they show various times his feet touching the legit ground, the legit bottom part of the um, pot which would definitely, I guess you would say, signify it being the hottest part of the pot. It's very interesting. I wonder too, because there have been many people I've seen, like, why why can't he just coat himself in hockey? Maybe if he coats himself in hockey, it might, you know, work a bit in, I guess you can say, deflecting or, or taking away some of the pain. I know it's probably not going to take all the way with the pain, but maybe if you coach yourself in ornament hockey, maybe it might actually work um, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know why. I always ask the question, like, why don't they just cut, cut themselves in ornament and hockey in this type of way? Um, but he's not doing, I guess it must be for an honor, respect type of purpose um, and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I'm like, holy hell, this man is touching the bottom. Like, this man's feet's gotta be burning and everything. And you see over time, like, Odin's definitely starting to get weaker. Like, it looks like only like, at least like, a few minutes have passed, like maybe 10 minutes. I don't know how long, they, I forgot that they had brought it up in the episode. 
how long it's been um, and stuff like that. But you clearly see that you clearly you clearly see the effects like Odin starts to bleed. You can see like his like veins and stuff are about to pop because his arm looks like he's about to give out. But obviously he's doing this to save his retainers as well as try to save himself and things like this. Then we covered back to what the civilians are thinking. And some of the civilians are mocking Odin and saying, dude, I thought we were going to see a freaking death here. Like, dog, I'm going to get out of here. This is boring, man. Just die already, man. Just die. And you just have Shinobu just hearing all this. And it gets to the point she attacks this one individual because she's super pissed. She's like, you need to shut the hell up. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This dude is literally in there right there freaking holding on to whatever life he has left the best he can and all you can say is this is boring he is not a foolish lord and everything he's like you have been i'm like you people have been duped you people have been tricked you think odin is a idiot and he's a foolish lord but you're all wrong you got the whole thing wrong about all the who the real foolish lord is which we all know is rochi we also see some other young, we see the younger members of Fukurokuchu and the other Orochi's little ninjas he's got um, and stuff like that. Um, and essentially Shinobu's like, you guys don't know what what is happening, why Odin did all this stuff to begin with and things like that. So we get a flashback to the scene when we got that one episode when um, Odin charged Orochi's palace and you tried to kill him there, but then the barrier barrier fruit dude, I forgot his name. Um, I know I know he's a Kurozumi, but um, I forgot his name. Um, he activated to protect um, Orochi from doing this. Anyways, Orochi tells Odin, um, essentially, um, look, he, he essentially says, like, everyone who went against the Kurozumi clan is a sinner, and he doesn't care if they all die. Bringing up the fact that, you know, after my freaking grand grandfather did what he did, trying to get rid of all the Daimyos in the region to become Shogun, you know, and then he got ousted for it, you know, all other members of the Kurozumi clan got freaking ostracized and attacked and killed and berated for what we didn't even freaking do and stuff like that. And obviously Orochi's like, I like, look, I got attacked, I got persecuted, I was almost killed, and I had nothing to do with what my grandfather did. Now, in the grand scheme of things, yes, he is right. The way he's taken his approach to get back at people is completely wrong and stuff like that. He's actually, like, and this is, and I'll talk about the idiocracy of Odin soon, but he literally says this line to Odin. He says the reason why he became Shogun was to destroy Wano to get his revenge because everybody else did it. And it's funny too, because he's like, it, it's funny because some of these people don't even have any effect, if not barely tormented his clan, probably. Um, and he's getting them all back, innocent people. And lo and behold, he shows, oh yeah, hey Odin, look at this. He's got these weapons in the back and then he's got these well, I would say hostage of people, like these group of people huddled. She, he's like, you see those people? Those are my tributes to Kaido. And essentially what I do is I send not only the weapons, but these people to Kaido, they can, and Kaido can do whatever they want with him. They can be a slaves. They can do whatever they want with him. If they want to have a little thing with the females, or they can just straight up kill them. And guess what? No problem on my hands. It's his thing, it's his thing now. And I'm like, this dude is a sick, freak like what and it really goes to show you that this man really like is he really wants like ultimate revenge he wants to get revenge on not just people he just wants to get revenge on the entire country he essentially wants to burn the country down into a, a essentially nothingness and be like you know what that's fine I just want my revenge on people because of the wrongings people did. You know, I'm not saying those people, what they did, um, were in the right. Yes, they should have probably only been mad at the grandfather. They should have not targeted any other family members after that because that's just a bad judgment of character. You shouldn't judge, you know, 
somebody for saying like, oh, well, guess what? You know, just because the grandfather was a bad apple doesn't mean everybody else in his family is a bad apple. Um, you know, but at the same time, what Orochi's doing is taking it wrong. He could have probably did a different approach and maybe not have been so messed up in that if it wasn't for those attacks. Um, but at the same time, he's got to be like, you, you, you have to be happy. Like, look, this dude Yasu, we took you in and he, you know, and stuff like that. And he treated you respectfully and kindly and treated you like a family member. And then he's just going to do all this to get back at people and stuff like that, which again is freaking crazy. Now, um, what happens is um, we see Kaido overhead, like we saw a few um, in that scene too. He, um, or no, Orochi, Owen and Kaido actually have another fight. And from what I heard, um, this was another you know off-screen manga fight so we get another extended odin versus kaido fight here which i'm all for if the anime wants to expand on certain scenes that the manga you know wasn't able to because of obviously you know page restrictions and stuff like that i'm fine with the anime you know obviously expanding upon that scene or those scenes and stuff like that i really do like that the anime will do that um obviously too it's for reasons why is to make the manga stay ahead of the anime and things like that. But um, eventually it gets to the point where Odin is kind of cornered and essentially um, that's when Orochi's like, okay, 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 just stop the fighting. How about this, Odin? I'll make a proposition with you. We see that the whole proposition is like, if you do the whole dancing in the streets naked, me and Kaido will get on a boat we're building and leave five years from now and you can become Shogun and all you, all these people won't die and stuff like that. Um, and we all know that was a bold face freaking lie and stuff like that. And that's what Shinobu's telling the crowd. She's like, this dude, and like Odin literally freaking protected all of you guys for years, years and years. Um, and you're calling him the silly Lord. Well, who's the silly Lord now after he's been protecting you? And that's kind of where the episode kind of ends off. Um, so I thought it was a pretty solid episode. I've heard some people didn't like this episode, mostly, I guess, the hardcore fans of One Piece who read the manga and everything, they don't like it, but it's fine with me personally. I don't really mind. I'm just getting a good, I'm just getting One Piece, a good anime. So I'm kind of adjusted to the whole fact that, hey, these episodes take longer than usual because guess what? They're trying to expand the knowledge and stuff like that. Or they're trying to expand the uh, reason between the manga and the anime. Another thing too, I also hear that a lot of people are just done with the backstory and they want to get the backstory over so we can get back to the present. I think we only have like two more episodes left and then we'll finally get back to the present stuff. I mean, if not one more episode left, um, I don't know when the backstory is going to end. Um, I will do want it to end myself. Like now it's getting to the point for me and like, okay, it's kind of dragging on. I want to get back to the present stuff. Um, I think we've been here long enough, um, you know, so yeah, I I think we have two more episodes and then that's where the backstory is going to end off, which is 973, 974, 975. And then I'm guessing we cut back to the present 976 episode. Um, so yeah, but, um, speaking actually about Odin before I end this video off, it's just, again, you know, I like Odin as a character, but I'm very disappointed too, that this man would actually believe a dude who actually legit told to your face, look, I'm going to destroy this country from the ground up, you know? Uh, like, I don't get, like, and he's literally, like, literally, you're hearing this guy saying like, I don't even care if people die. Like, dude. It's a matter part where it's like, you know what? I'm just going to kill you and get rid of you now. And two, he was out of the freaking little bubble thing. And I don't think the old dude with the berry berry fruit powers could have activated berry berry fruit any longer. All freaking Oda had to do was just grab his freaking swords and just slice Orochi's head off. And all you had to deal with was Kaido next up. And it's like, dude, you can't. I'm like, and it's crazy to be see that the downfall of Odin was because he had too much you know, faith in people that had no business having faith in them. If Odin just came up in there storming there and been like, all right, fine. You know, you know what I'm going to do? It is, I'm just going to kill you. And they bring up the fact like, you don't want a war breaking out. And I'm like, well, what other point is there to do? Grab freaking people that are your supporters and go to war with these dudes. There's are still, there are people out there that are samurais, you know? They would definitely back you in taking down Orochi, overthrowing it, even if it was in a dying effort, 
a dying bane, I think they would have been like, well, we did the best we could to save our country. It just didn't happen like we could. You know, that's what I don't understand. I understand the worriedness of the fact that, oh, if you go to war, you might lose your family and, you know, many other, you know, um, lives that should have never been killed end up getting killed. I understand that. But at the same time, like, this dude is ruling over your country. Like, he's literally... And it's funny because he like he doesn't even call, he says like I'm not a shogun I'm not even a dictator I'm like that's kind of some dictator fucking tendencies there buddy just a little effed up in the head there but it's like dude he's essentially a dictator of this country and you don't want to do whatever it's within your power to stop him you see him in this one talk alone freaking like essentially lie to your face every time and then you end up believing him that he's gonna leave and. That's essentially was the downfall of Odin, because he believed Orochi at that point. And it's funny because it's like Kaido said in a few a few weeks ago, you probably would have defeated us if you just had kept attacking, um, and stuff like that, um, which might have gone to show that maybe Kaido wasn't as strong at that time as he was, or as he is, especially I guess at the time of the execution, even what he is now. But um, you know, it's like, dude, you got you're telling me you're just gonna let this man here so you can pretty much put the blame on odin much of himself for allowing roshi to run this country as much as every other bad thing that's happened you know if Ed odin just had in that one point just been like you know what screw it i don't care if people innocent people die i know they're gonna fight for my cause and i know they're gonna believe it this is for a better wano to be honest i'm gonna strike you down right here and there's not a damn thing you can do about it and stuff like that but um yeah next week it seems like we might actually i think get the death of odin here um and yeah but other than that that's kind of it so uh if you guys like the video leave a like put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's episode of one piece as well as hit that subscribe button to get more one piece anime episode reviews for you guys anyways um again Again, um, I'm probably going to be saying this over the week. Um, again, um, for people who check out my One Piece reviews or any other videos on the channel, um, thank you for uh, getting me to 100 subscribers. Uh, that's one thing I will say. So uh, that's going to be probably the honorary thing I say this week. But other than that, I'm going to be out of here. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.